The Bundesliga has come to a conclusion with Roberts helping Schalke secure Champions League football for next season. With 5 goals and 15 assists, Roberts was one of the standout performers in the Bundesliga and that got himself into the team of the season. But now Kyle's time in the Bundesliga might be coming to an end as the club are having some financial problems and one of the solutions for them is to offload Kyle Roberts for big money. The Schalke president wanted to have a chat with Roberts about the situation but the kid was clear about what's going to happen. First, the Euros and then everything else. That's right, Kyle Roberts at the age of 17 has been selected to play for England in the upcoming UEFA Euros 2020, an opportunity that's massive for his career. To be playing for England at such a young age, breaking Wayne Rooney's record is just a historic moment for him. Roberts could be making his official debut for England any time now as the Euros begin today. He'll be playing alongside some of the top talents in England, the likes of Harry Kane, Hudson Odoi and many more. The focus for Kyle Roberts now is on the English national team. The transfer business will come later. For now, the focus is to try and have a good tournament in the Euros 2020. So here we are back again with another episode of the My Player Career Mode series. This is episode number 10. Time for the UEFA Euros 2020 to begin. Roberts' future with Schalke is in doubt. We don't know if he's going to stay at the club or not, but at least in the time he was there, he helped them to a Champions League position. Whether he's going to stay there or not, we're going to find out soon. As I said before, the focus is now to have a good international tournament, do well in the Euros and just see how far England can go. The squad for the English national team for the Euros has been announced by the FA, as you would have seen in the last episode, and some really interesting choices. Of course, Roberts in there is one of the midfielders, but no Jadon Sancho has sparked a huge national debate. And as expected, Jadon Sancho isn't really a happy chap right now. In an interview given, he was looking visibly disappointed as he said this. Sancho tweeted this, I respect the decision of Gareth Southgate for not including me, but that doesn't make it the right decision. Interesting situation right now. We'll see if Sancho makes it to the England squad later on in the future. If you guys are excited for the Euros in this series, keep the support coming in. Drop a like in the video, subscribe if you're new around here. Let's smash out 3000 likes and I'll try and upload this series more often. And well, let's get this one underway. First of all guys, a quick look at our season objectives. Last episode, we completed the next Sancho challenge and because of that, we gave Roberts a week foot upgrade. Hopefully today in the Euros, we can make progress towards the sniper objective. Gonna be difficult though. But last episode, we qualified for Champions League football with Schalke, which means we've now completed the Champions League dream objective. And that means time for another upgrade. And there you go, we've got that weak foot rating up to a 3 star now, which is definitely useful. The amount of chances we've bottled on that right foot, it is just crazy. So hopefully now, we'll see him score more consistently with the right foot. Also, a lot of you guys in the comments section have been telling me to just give Roberts the outside foot shot rate. It's going to be so useful in game, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's now take a look at the groups for the Euros. We already know our opponents. England, Belgium, Romania and Austria in the same group. Should be a tricky one. Belgium are going to give us a tough fight, but top two qualify, so things are looking very good for us. Group B, Germany, Northern Ireland, Italy and Wales. Germany and Italy should make it through. Group C, interesting. Portugal, Spain, Norway could be one of the dark horses with Haaland and Odegaard. Finland as well. And in Group D, we've got Netherlands, France, Switzerland and Hungary. Any big team missing out, guys? Let me know in the comments section. The groups do look interesting, though. News has just broken out that Kyle Roberts is going to start in the very first game of the Euros against Romania. This has come as a massive surprise, as most people expected Gareth Southgate to use Roberts as a super sub, or not even use him at all. But he's putting the 17-year-old right in the middle of things, as he's going to be making his official debut for England. So, time for the Euros to begin as England take on Romania. Kyle Roberts starting in a very different position in that centre mid row, left centre mid, along with Deli Ali and Jordan Henderson, who's the captain of the team. Harry Kane, Sterling, Hudson Odoi all starting. At Schalke, Kyle Roberts is used to playing as the cam, as the main man creating. But here, for England, he's going to be playing in a different role where he might need to even defend. So, Things are definitely going to be interesting, but look at the talent in the team. These are the best pool of players Roberts has ever played with. The likes of Kane, Sterling, Trent, Maguire, Chilwell. It's crazy. This is a chance for Roberts to showcase his talent. 
This is it, the Euros begin, England take on Romania, Kyle Roberts' big moment is now. He's been dominating the Bundesliga, Bundesliga team of the season as well. But now this is a different ball game, representing your country, the world is watching. Can Kyle Roberts deliver? Only time will tell. Here's Roberts, takes a good touch, looks for Harry Kane, controls it well. Henderson now, big chance here for England as Kyle Roberts is on the run, looks to bring it inside, he's gotten past the defenders, goes for goal, oh my god, within 10 minutes Kyle Roberts has scored for England, his first official game and he's actually scored for the three Lions, unbelievable scenes as Roberts has found the target in the first game of the Euros, nobody expected this to happen, Roberts beats one and then finds space, shoots and he's now scored against Romania. Unbelievable scenes, the number 30, the 17 year old has now become the youngest ever goal scorer for England. What a moment this is, history has been created in the Euros. Incredible scenes as England take the lead against Romania. Could this be the start of something special? Kyle Roberts has announced himself to the world. Back to Roberts, oh he gets past one, he's having the game of his life right now, keeps it in. Looks for a crossing option. Ah, the cross was awful, but it seems like nothing can go wrong for him at the moment. Cross comes in, he goes for the header. How did he win that one? Good save from the opposing keeper. Everything seems to be going in his favor. Looks back for Raheem Sterling, releases this one for him. Sterling goes for goal and almost scores right there. A good chance created by Roberts. Garrett Southgate and co are balling out right now in the Euros. It's, we're off to a fantastic start. Kyle Roberts, oh what a pass that is for Raheem Sterling. He sent him on a run here. We know Sterling is very good at dribbling so he can take on the Romanians. Here goes Sterling, looks for Kyle. Big chance for us now, pass into Deli Ali who goes for goal. Another chance created by Roberts. Ali couldn't convert this one. I think he shot that one with his weaker left foot. That explains it. Harry Kane looks for Roberts. Hudson Adoy is making a good run. Of course, Roberts is going to find him. Now it's Kane. Ali, brilliant football. Raheem Sterling looks for Roberts. The English national team are dominating right now. Roberts looks to cut this one back. He still has the ball somehow. Sterling goes for goal. Another big chance created by Roberts. But their keeper is up to it. Although the loose ball might find its way to Roberts. Ah, not really. Romania somehow get it away. Kane looks for Roberts. Who's just going to unleash a shot. But uh, not enough power on it. Still the Romania keeper... Did fumble that one, could have gone anywhere. Hudson Adoy finds Roberts in a good spot right now. Cleverly releases this one for Henderson. Now it is Kane back to Madison actually. Madison shoots. When was he brought on? James Madison literally brought on minutes ago and almost scored here. We're creating so many chances against Romania. I have no idea how this game is only at a 1-0 scoreline. Now looks for Roberts again, who goes inside for Madison. Big chance for Madison to score, and there you go. England finally make it to it, and guess who was the provider again? Kyle Roberts, a beautiful pass into Madison's path, who scores our second goal at the Euros as we make it 2-0 against Romania. Should be an easy win now for us. I just cannot see Romania getting back into this game. They've been pretty terrible. Probably the worst opponent we faced all year long. Even in the Bundesliga, there wasn't a team as bad as this. Romania just looked completely dysfunctional, which makes sense. They're not a big footballing nation, at least on FIFA. And, well, we completely ripped them apart. And that's full time. England are off to a flyer in the UEFA Euros 2020. Kyle Roberts with a sensational performance, a goal and an assist on his official England debut. Can't really ask for more. I mean, just look at the stats. They're just outrageous. Big game, big performance from Roberts. An average rating of 9. One goal, four key passes, one assist. Can't really ask for more, as I just said. The world media seem to be stunned with that performance. I mean, you don't expect a 17-year-old to come in and score an assist on his official debut for a national team. It was just outrageous. The Euros are off to a flyer thanks to Kyle Roberts. Everybody's now talking about him. Roberts does not make the cut against Austria. It makes sense. If you look at the fixtures for the Euros, there are games every three days. And Roberts at this age is simply not capable of playing every three days. So, Roberts has been benched for this one. England versus Austria without him. Can England still get the result? It's a nil-nil draw. Things are now getting interesting. This is a tough one to take as Ben Chilwell's Euros has come to an end. He suffered a torn hamstring. There's no way he's playing a part in this tournament now. That's, that's bad news. Well, the group is now in an interesting spot after we drop points against Austria because it's England versus Belgium, the final game of the group stages. And if one of us lose, Romania and Austria have a chance to qualify because if one of them win, they'll also be on four points. So the group is actually very open right now. A draw between England and Belgium will send both teams through. So 
A draw is probably the best result for each team, but of course, England versus Belgium with the competitive nature of the sport, I'm sure one of these two teams would love to win. After not playing the game against Austria, Roberts is definitely hungry to get back on the pitch and well, the coach has decided to start him in this all-important game against Belgium as both teams try and qualify for the quarterfinals of the Euros. This is how the team is set up. Hudson and Doi, Sterling Kane all starting Roberts in that left sentiment role. No Ben Chilwell, he picked up an injury, so Luke Shaw has replaced them. Joe Gomez, Trent all starting. This is it. England versus Belgium, but up against the likes of Hazard and Co. This is big. That's the Belgium team we're facing. And wow, look at the players they've got in there. Kevin De Bruyne, Nijngolen, Hazard, Mertens, Lukaku. This, this is a quality team. They're playing a 3-4-3 formation. So be all to be held. Vertonghen, Courtois and goal. This is our big test. I mean, Romania was a pretty simple team to face. But Belgium, they're a top 10 team. This is going to be difficult. I'm sure the nerves are kicking in for all the English players out here because this is huge. We're up against Belgium, probably one of the favourites for the Euros. In a game where if we lose, there is a chance we might be knocked out from the Euros. The English fans are going to kill us if we get knocked out in the group stages when we've been drawn in a pretty simple group. So there's no turning back now. We've got to get the job done. Sterling looks for Roberts. It's brilliant football. Early on itself a chance here. Roberts just goes for goal from a difficult angle. Just trying his luck. Good football early on in the first three minutes itself. Sterling, Kane, Roberts all linking up with Courtois. That was simple for him. Harry Kane, now Raheem the Dream Sterling, good touch from him, here goes Sterling, chance for us against Belgium, still Sterling looks to bring it inside, good defending from Belgium there, Belgium now on the front foot, keeping possession, Raja Nainggolan, now looks for Romelu Lukaku, out wide for Carrasco, Carrasco back inside to Lukaku, they're playing good football, look at Lukaku's strength there, whips in a fantastic cross, Sterling doing defensive work, an acrobatic clearance from him. Is Nainggolan on the ball as he's dribbling past us, good pass into Lukaku's path, goes for goal, looking for that near post finish. John Stones did well. Harry Kane now looks for Roberts, here's Luke Shaw, big opportunity for him in the absence of Ben Chilwell, still Luke Shaw. Roberts is holding back his run, Luke Shaw could cross this one and it's a decent ball, but Courtois led that one again. De Bruyne, now Lukaku. Out wide to Yanazai. This this is looking problematic for us still. Yanazai on the attack. Cut back to Lukaku. Big chance for him. Lukaku finesses this one in the back of the net. There was nothing we could do about that. Belgium make it 1-0. And our situation in the Euros is in a peril. Because if we lose this game and either one of the other two teams win, we could be out of the Euros. Lukaku makes it 1-0. England need to respond. Roberts. Looks for Harry Kane. Harry Kane goes for goal. And ooh, those are the situations where Kane comes alive. But this time his shot off target. Half time against Belgium. And we've been second to everything in this game. Belgium have been far better. Their formation has been really difficult to play against. Roberts has been very quiet. So has Kane, Sterling and everybody else. Lukaku scored the opener. It's going to be difficult. But we need to try and bounce back in the second half. Dries Mertens has gotten past our defence again, goes for goal and almost scores from a difficult angle. Fair enough, Mertens, that was one hell of an attempt with the outside of his right boot. Oh, Deli Ali has gotten in behind here, chance for the three Lions. Still, Deli Ali could cut this one back, tries to find Kane, but Sobi Aldebriel read that one so well. He's a teammate of Kane and, of course, Ali, so he completely knows how they play. So, not surprised he's dealt with them so easily as Nainggolan picks up a booking and Roberts goes to fight him. First time we're seeing some aggression there from Roberts. Here goes Marcus Rashford, does so well there, looks for Deli Ali. Deli Ali now finds Raheem Sterling, this could be the chance we've been waiting for. It's Kane on the ball, but Den Donker read that so well. Oh, Roberts wins it back. Roberts finds Henderson, chance for him. Deli Ali flicks it up, goes for goal. Oh my goodness, almost, almost as Courtois makes the save. That reminded me of Deli Ali's flick up volley goal against Crystal Palace. He almost pulled that off again. One final attack of the game. Here goes Kyle Roberts. His stamina is so low right now. Looks inside for Harry Kane. Back to Roberts. Oh, beautiful pass into Madison Spath who could score. Madison goes for goal and scores. Kyle Roberts with a beautiful assist at the death as England make it 1-1 against Belgium and that should be enough for us to make it out alive of the group. What a clutch moment that was from Kyle Roberts outside of his left boot. A beautiful pass to Madison, who's proving to be a standout player in this tournament. A beautiful finish as well. Courtois had no chance whatsoever. But that pass from Kyle Roberts was sensational as he's now grabbed two assists and a goal at the Euros so far in the group stages. He has come alive 
in this tournament. Full time against Belgium as it's a one all draw and that means both England and Belgium have made it out alive of the group and both teams are now going to the quarterfinals of the Euros. Another solid performance from Roberts, a 7.6 match rating, a couple of key passes, one assist, brilliant. The group stages of the Euros have come to a conclusion. Belgium and England have made it out alive of Group A with England finishing second. Group B, Germany and Italy have made it through. Group C, Spain and Portugal have made it through. And from Group D, France and Netherlands. Basically, all the favourites have survived the group stages. And in the quarterfinals, this is what is about to happen. Belgium, Italy, where Italy have gotten through Belgium. Spain have managed to knock out Netherlands on penalties. It's Germany versus England. Oh my god, is that going to be one hell of a game? France versus Portugal as well. A lot of different storylines. The quarterfinals are about to be crazy. Roberts is one of the top assisters in the Euros so far with two assists in two games only behind Sony Cruz. And well, England will be up against Germany, so Roberts has a chance to settle that and win potentially the top assisted award in the Euros. So next episode, we're going to be wrapping up the UEFA Euros 2020, trying to reach as far as possible in the tournament. But also, Kyle Roberts' future is going to be decided. That's going to be huge. But for now, we're wrapping up today's episode of the My Player Career Mode series. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this series. If you guys are, drop a like in the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Keep the support coming in. 3,000 likes again would be unbelievable. And well, I will catch you all next time.